Hello. Some of you uh, bought the original kit and uh, you also got the, the upgrade package or will get the upgrade package. And I wanted to make a little bit of a video to show you some details you may need to, to know or to pay attention to. So obviously uh, the biggest uh, the biggest change is this uh, new airbox which comes with these brackets it's uh, this one and there's another one right here that bolts to the first one and allows you to bolt on the this valve right so don't leave this valve dangling um and this bracket uh, also connects with the uh, tank uh, bracket and in the end you should have a 10 millimeter gap between these two um, and this valve is supported and also the new airbox is supported so the the bolts here are kind of tight and fiddly to to put on and uh, tighten but I'm sure you can manage it's no big deal you just have to pay attention and yeah, see where where you need to, to how you need to orient the bolts all right so that's one thing a couple of details about the airbox um, it's uh, bolted to the um, to the metering unit with some some metric six bolts which are provided into the kit of course and there's one one that is different right and another detail is you if you turn your your airbox um, just look from the underneath you will see that there's a sort of a dome here with a hole so uh, initially i designed this to be an, another bolting um, position but um, the access is very difficult and in, in in reality this doesn't really need to be bolted in there so uh, this dome it will just uh, act as support and there's this bracket which mounts on the original uh, bracket from the 924 um, and this is just uh, upward support for uh, additional upward support for for the um, airbox you don't need to bolt this on um, so is, this is just for additional support you can see it's there All right so even on my car is not bolted during the test I, I run with this and it's it's just not needed it's just additional support this is really really stable and really well fixed like it is even without without this so yeah this is a uh, about the airbox um, Another very important or uh, very important aspect is um, these two components, they, they get replaced, right? The original kit had a pipe here or a 40 millimeter pipe coming out here and going there and the bypass valve was crammed there uh, and was connected with this, uh, with this pipe. The original kit um, came with an additional component. The valve had a sort of a flange with three bolts that allowed uh, a 40 millimeter hose to be uh, clamped on it. You don't need that part anymore. And those three bolts you, you should not reuse because I think they're either too short or too long for the, the, um, the upgrade package you will get uh, this component and uh, special three bolts. I will, I will make a, um, a schematic drawing and showing which uh, dimension bolts go where. But don't reuse the the bolts that were used in, in the original uh, kit for the flange. Okay. Um, one additional component that comes with the V2 is this uh, one-way valve. Right, it's sort of like like that one, 
It's, it comes from a, a VW um, and is connected between this uh, T and the idle valve, right? This T was uh, originally mounted here, right? And it, it connected to the, to the um, idle valve, but now it's just there. And um, the, um, the bypass valve is no longer there, it's here. And the, the additional blow-off valve the, um, is no longer here. It is now mounted on this component. Here's uh, the difference between the bypass circuit of the V2 and the V1. So what you see here and, uh, is the V2 and the way the, the bypassing and the recirculation works is that uh, at near the, the end of the, the charge pipe, right before the engine throttle body, there is this so-called bypass valve. It's just a throttle body that is operated by vacuum um, and uh, when you lift off the, the throttle <coughs> this opens and the the air is not forced into the engine with a, a sh shut throttle body is just flown through through the to the bypass valve and back into the intake of the supercharger right this is the intake of the supercharger um, so this is how how it works. Uh, some what this uh, bypass valve cannot flow, this blow off valve will will uh, will vent um, into the atmosphere. Um, so this is the V2, and the V1 was a little bit different. Um, so the V1 uh, didn't have the by bypass valve here; it was here. Right, and it, it was. Um, I don't have two bypass valves, but this is a this was a flange that connected with this with three bolts to the to the bypass valve and allowed it to be in line between this cross pipe and this 180 degree. Um, so it was recir recirculating from closer to the supercharger, right back into the supercharger inlet, not uh, from from the throttle body. And uh, the V1 had uh, the blow off here, right? Next to the, the throttle body. So um, the ones that are upgrading for V1 will have these two components and will have uh, also this. Uh, when you upgrade to V2, this is not no longer needed. Uh, and the three bolts that, that come with it uh, should not be used because I think they're too, either too long or too short. And if you try to use those here, they're either too short and not engaging enough or too long and you'll crack this component. So uh, use the ones that, that are provided in the, v, in the V2 upgrade uh, kit. So uh, back to the V1 on the upgrade from it. Um, this is not needed. Its bolts are not needed. Uh, this uh, straight bit of, of hose is not needed. This T that uh, used to feed the um, idle valve will be relocated from this crossover pipe through in between, right, through here, and you will get this whole thing pre-assembled. Um, you just need to connect it to the idle valve, right? Um, the 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 the, up, the ones that upgrade to a V2 will not get this. You'll have to reuse the one from V1, and you have to pay attention that the gray side of the um, one-way valve uh, faces the the T, right? So just have a look at this picture, and you'll understand. Um, one other aspect when upgrading from V1. The blow-off valves, I think some of them, or if not all of them, I also glued here with this black silicone stuff. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be a real pain in the ass to, to take the, the blow-off from this component. You may need to destroy this component, but as long as the, the blow-off stays intact, that's fine, because you're going to upgrade to the V2. So uh, take your time. Uh, 
I don't know, maybe use a fishing net to try to cut in between the, the two components. And if you can save the, uh, the gasket, do it. If not, I think you're gonna have to either use um, that black uh, silicone stuff here or make yourself a, a, a bracket, uh, um, a gasket. I, these gaskets only come with, with this uh, blow off and it's only one piece. So um, yeah, good luck with taking these off, All right? Uh, okay, so V1, right? V2. Also, when upgrading from V1 to V2, you'll need to um, take the blow off valve from the uh, throttle body piece and uh, install it onto this, this component. Uh, there's two mounting holes and a flat surface. Ideally, you would reuse the, the gasket if you can save it. If not, just use some of that black silicone stuff or make a new gasket out of uh, gasket material. But there's one important aspect to, <laughs> to, to understand. Um, this is bolted using these uh, big diameter washers and uh, metric six uh, bolts from the inside, right? Just like that. So what you need obviously is to reuse the, the bolts that came original with with the with the blow valve and put them from inside out right the nuts uh, go out also there's this let's say special nuts with uh, self uh, locking um, ring use these and not others you don't want these loose and these falling into the supercharger um, so for that you have to pay attention to properly uh, install this. Don't over tighten it, obviously it's just you clamping plastic, but uh, make it nice and, and, and firm. So this first bolt is fairly easy to, to mount, right? You just, you can reach, you can reach with your fingers, but the other one, not so much. So what you do, you take a long Allen uh, key, you put the uh, you put the bolt on top or in it like so One second. and then you can just all right put it in and then the same you you can tighten it the same way you just hold it with a long allen key and that's it so again these two from inside out, uh, locking nuts here. Use these washers and these nuts. Don't over tighten them, but don't let them loose either, right? Uh, one more thing. When you do the V2 upgrade from V1 and you relocate the bypass valve uh, from that uh, cross uh, pipe to the throttle body charge pipe. Um, like I said, use the, the right bolts, the right size. Um, I'll mark them somehow. And yeah, be, the, 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 the holes are, are threaded, right? So uh, you, sh you just need to bolt them on. Uh, but be careful when, when tightening these. They, you should, I don't know, do it by feel and by, by, by uh, observing. So uh, tighten them until they, they are fully home and then, I don't know, maybe 10 degrees or 15 degrees maximum. Uh, you will feel that the, the torque increasing, right? The, the difficulty to, so don't over tighten these they don't need to be over tightened. Uh, they they thread in about this much, and this is more than than enough. Uh, and don't over torque these bolts. Don't crack this part, right? 
the V2 kit is a bit more closely fitting. So there's there's very little gap between these components and very little gap between these two these two components. Um, so the orientation of this valve is very important. Um, you want to make sure that 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 when you put this this on, you you check that these two parts are are parallel and these two uh, are parallel as well. Um, one indicator. Um, for that is to check if you have gap here. You should have just a few millimeters of gap here. If this is touching that, this is uh, turned uh, in, in a wrong way, right? Uh, also, don't make the mistake to have this uh, clamp there because due to vibrations, if it, if it touches, it will dig into that part. Um, another thing to, to take care of is um, like I said, this is coming pretty close to everything. Um, make sure you have some millimeters gap between uh, these um, injector lines and this, right? You don't want them touching. Right. And the vacuum, right? The vacuum, um, you feed, uh, just like the V1, you feed a T, right? From from this T, I have a double T. I'm I'm. This goes to the boost gauge inside the car, but normally you just have one T here and one bit goes to the blow off and one bit goes to the bypass valve. So yeah, that's about it with the V2 and um, oh one more thing when you when you install the the upgrade the V2 uh, this valve has a, a, a defined direction. So gray side towards the T and black side towards the, the, the idle valve, okay? Another difference between the V2 and the V1 is the crank uh, pulley, the pulley that drives the supercharger. Uh, this is the V1 and uh, this was designed to just fit on top of the original uh, accessories pulley uh, on more or less any position, right? Uh, the holes just fit. And the V2 uh, is different. This, the V2 replaces the um, accessories uh, pulley because it's, it has it um, included. Uh, and this means this uh, will uh, bolt in a sp specific position. Uh, you see there's an indexing uh, hole uh, for the pin that, that's on the uh, crankshaft. So this, that hole will line up here in the original car and uh, that will line here. Um, What's different, um, or another difference, is um, the, um, the original uh, the original pulley has this notch here. Um, one second, where is it? Yeah, it's this notch here, which which helps you. Uh, it it shows you TDC, right? Uh, you can align uh, the, the engine using this notch and uh, an indicator on on the on the engine i think it's on the uh, oil pump housing anyway so uh, that uh, is now here right because this replaces that uh, and uh, an additional feature is that i've uh, marked these every two degrees so you can um, use a strobe light to easier um, adjust your, your timing. So you will not be able to, to run the same amount of uh, advance like, like without a supercharger and you'll have to retard the, the ignition. So these markings are there to try to help you um, find how many degrees you have to uh, retard the, the, the ignition. So yeah, <clears throat> the, um, the, the V2 uh, pulley 
mounts in a specific um, orientation uh, and uh, it's showing the, the TDC and it replaces the, the accessories pulley. Um, because I have uh, some remaining stock of these, um, actually two pieces, two of the, the new kits will, will get the, this um, I will mark these uh, just like this um, and you will have to put this on top of the original um, pulley uh, and you'll just have to make sure you you will you you align the the notch on the supercharger pulley with the notch on the original and and then you you can um, use the the marking to um, adjust your timing. 